Oh good, the nightmares oh, are awake. They must have heard me. Maybe if they learn to burn children's medicine. Oh whoa. They'll actually think I'm just one of them. Oh hey! Okay, no nope. uh, no this way. No no no. No no no. No, no no no. We go to the water. We lose them in the shallows. No, they're on me! Do not go quietly into that good night. Old age should burn and rage at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The wise men know that at their end, dark is right. Because their words had fought no lightning, they do not go quietly into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm K-Man and you're back with Phalanx in Dying Light. Okay, last time, Gazi, crazy guy, fake mother, uh, we got seizure meds from him for Brecken, the leader of the tower. Sozai is back with me today and we are going into sick bay because we also found out that there is a fake antizen ring going on inside the tower, apparently perpetrated by one of the scouts. But we're going to get the well, fake antizen. Well. What? That's why. That's why you're going in. I'm going in because I I hurt. I got, I had a bad accident last night and uh, yeah. Uh, that sounds rough, man. All right. Well, I'm gonna have Lena examine this fake Anazin. Oh, apparently I need you to examine you it with have a me. Look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on twenty one took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to twenty one now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. Okay. So, even in the apocalypse, somebody's trying to make money off somebody else. Well, I guess people be people. Player's gonna play? Mm. Can I say that? Player's gonna well, play? Considering we are actually playing... Oh, good point. Well, according to my quest marker, Yusuf is on the roof, so let's head up there. Talk to Yusuf. Uh, nope, that's, that is the one we do not speak of. He who must not be named. No, he who must be checked off building. Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. I'm a rogue Bahir? cop on the loose. Do, Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. I like how Crane, his whole interrogation technique is basically, I'm going to go from a slightly mild tone to a severely mild tone. And he just folds completely. Either that speaks uh, miles of Yusuf's character, or we're a lot scarier than we actually think. I... No, I think it's pretty much that he's timid, because that was not intimidating at all. I'm headed downstairs, by the way. Actually... I am, at, I am at a little bit less than half health, so I was considering throwing myself off the building to save myself a medkit. That seems dramatic. Let's see. Hmm. We need to contact the GRE, and we need to check out this drugstore. Our two objectives. 
So, bust up the phony Antizen ring, or... I think we need to get this Antizen supply to the tower, so we'll check in with the Quartermaster, I think. Go straight down to the bottom, grab our stuff, and we'll head out, contact the GRE to set up our Antizen drop for the tower, get those supplies, and then we'll circle back to the Antizen ring. Sound like a plan? Okay. Okay. As long as I get my we'll steps do. for as long as I get my steps for my Fitbit, I'm okay. <laughs> well, you're gonna get a lot of steps for your Fitbit if you hang around here. We are literally called runners. Oh sweet! My shipment from the scouts arrived. I've been doing the so that we don't have to do all the scavenging on the recording. I've been doing a lot of uh, the companion app. I should probably do that as well because I got nothing. Yeah, it just gets you mostly crafting materials. Apparently further down the line, it'll get you better materials, which will be helpful for... Oddly enough, I am now at full health. Huh. Hmm. Okay, well, Weird. I'll take it. Okay. And off we go. Opening the map. Okay, the contact, the GRE, is right here, so we're gonna go to that. There's an interior to this building we should check out after this phone call. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. She may just be a hard A, but something about that lady screams really corrupt and diabolical. I got lawyer off her, so I guess that's really the same thing. <laughs> Mostly. Okay, I found how, it. This how looks do you like get in it. That building? Uh. Okay. Oh wait, sorry. wait, wait! I had to smash somebody's it. head in. It. I found it. Sorry, I got. I fell down. Stay to the rooftops. I'm pretty hurt, and I do not have a ton of medkits, so I don't want to use one. Uh, I have one, period, so... I have five. What happened to all the medkits I gave you not too long ago? Uh, things happen, oh, usually oh, mostly zombies. run! Viral! Ow! No, stop Just it! Just run! Just run! It's not worth it to fight it out with now a viral. I'm those things have heavy, I am heavy lower pain. health. Oh man, I just fell. Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake antazine. Reckon it's boiling. Oh god, she's after me. Yeah, I'll bet. That's but here. He's stable. But if we'd gotten to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is She stills after me. Putting them out of business is your number one priority. Oh, number one priority. I uh, still so... feel like getting legit Antizen should be our number one priority. Plus, that'll start... I think we are stuck in an eternal day cycle until we complete this mission. So we're going to do this first. You Catch say that like it's a bad thing to be stuck in eternal day. Uh, yeah, but it's not really nightmare mode. Not completely until... It's we... not nightmare mode without night? Un yes, until we're, until we're on a clock, you know? Until any minute something vicious and horrible could pop out and eat us. I don't do well under pressure, man. <laughs> I know, man. It's gonna make it so great. For, you know, the viewer, not us. So... I got it. Vault, drop kick, leg break. I think vault. Got Actually, it. Actually, you know what? Being a faster runner probably is gonna help, considering we're gonna start the day-night cycle. Oh, good! Another cricket bat. Or, hang ah. on, I think I have one as well. Apparently that's your signature weapon just now. Just a wrench. I think I'm good right now. I'm gonna need something to replace that hammer eventually. Alright, you ready to move? Moving! Okay. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. Ah! <laughs> 
Have you ever been parachuting, by the way? Curious. I oh. have not. No? I, do you want to? I'm not sure. It, What's down here? Oh, okay. I found Fucking a body. Hell. Hope I don't end up like this poor bastard. Alright. Open! Damn it. Nothing I'm sorry, there. Mario. Your antizen is in another castle. Oh. Jeez, Louise. Please don't give that kind of message. Why on earth right. would they drop an empty one? I don't think they did. This. See, I don't think they did. I don't think they actually dropped a empty crate. I think that this was. Ow. Okay. Ow. Oh, you missed the soft landing. Yeah, I caught the edge of the tin for tin thing, and now I'm gonna have to get a tetanus shot. It's just me, or is it getting darker? It is getting a little darker, but I think we're coming up to the first sunset, which is scripted. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay. That was fast. Don't try to fight them. Just okay, find okay. the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. She says don't try to fight them, but I kind of feel like that's exactly what I want to do. Should we try to fight them? I mean, I haven't fought humans on Nightmare Mode yet. Um... Face me like a man! I... I could care less. You're throwing something! Fucking what are you afraid of? I think they're throwing it at the zombie on the other side of the fence. They're hitting no, the fence, not the zombie. No, he's throwing it at me. I'm not done with you! Okay, I'm giving Are we doing shot. this? Yep. God damn it! Okay. Oh, you hit me. Uh, you wanna you wanna pinch hitter or you good? <laughs> I got him because he wasn't paying attention. Thank you. Burn. He seems to be stuck in a burning animation. Watch out! Ow! I dodged! And oh. I had a medkit going, and it's still going. Wow. Okay, okay, I'm coming for you. Relax. Uh, yeah, five, four, three, two, one, zero. You're fine. Uh, oh no, I totally no. got to you. Oh man, he hit me down. Okay, so yeah, we, we can't fight these guys yet. Just Don't chill out where people. you are, I'll force the kill. Uh, I lost a bunch of survivor points. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, that was not smart. We probably shouldn't have fought those guys. Who knew that humans would be the hardest thing to fight? I mean, it, it makes a certain kind of sense, doesn't it? I guess. Okay, headed your way. We cleared out, by the way, guys. For those let's, of you let's just meet up on the... Uh... Sorry, go ahead. We cleared out a few of the drop zones. Uh, not drop zones, sorry, safe zones around the tower. I'm going to pull up the map and show you. We just cleared out a couple in a ring around the tower because it always never made sense to me that Crane has to turn on all the safe zones himself. Because I feel like this... Oh. Wow. A grunt or a brute or whatever they're called just totally exploded his way out of a wall. So I'm going to try to lure him into this electricity. Alright, I'll make my way to you then. Yes. you're having fun. I'm most of the way to the objective anyway. But it never made sense to me that Crane would have to turn on... Oh, he's totally unaffected by the electricity. By the way, Jade says we should turn around because it's so late. Make a U-turn. She says that, but I think the story wants us to get caught out here at night to teach us about nighttime. I see the smoke trail. Smoke trail ahead. My Tom Tom unit doesn't agree with the uh, make a legal U turn thing. Get off this building. Yes, fall to your death. Or your undeath. Okay. Just sort of slid off a satellite dish in order to land safely. Pretty sure that works that way. But it occurs to me, I don't. I'm coming down, by the way. 
Oh man. Oh, box. I feel like jumping onto a car like that would not actually be okay. I don't know, cars have crumple zones, don't people? Yes, they're called your bones, and when they crumple, they kind of stay that way. You've never been skydiving or parachuting or anything like that. Do you ever want to? I don't know, really, honestly. Not um, sure? Not I'm super more, keen I'm about the idea the of you who... hurtling to the ground at extreme speeds while nothing well, that, but that a is, canopy that is a bit of death. a uh, That is a bit of a down draw, but uh, I, I like scuba diving. Uh, I mm -hmm. like being under rather than over, honestly. Really? Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's kind of like flying. I'm told, um, because you're weightless. You're told, but, but uh, you've been you know, scuba diving. Yeah, I'm. I'm told it's like flying because while I've been scuba diving, I've ever, never been, quote unquote, flying like airdrop or whatever. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, that's I. I can't really take any personal credit for that. But oh. Yeah, well, I kind of want to, but at the same time, I think I would really- Oh! Have to- Oh gosh, feel like I knew what I was doing. Oh, sorry, I thought that was you. I totally thought that was nope. you. I just Thanks for watching my back, though. You. Yeah, you're about to be bitten. Ow! Get her. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Get over the fence. Searching the corpse. Searching the corpse. Like I said, I think non-engagement is the rule of thumb. We need to draw them away whenever we can. Or lure them into traps like the electrical water. That's how I think we're going to get our most combat points. Because otherwise we're, good just, idea. we're not going to survive. I think we need to have a standard policy of our first step is non-engagement. Engagement should be uh, the well, last. Before we do anything else, I think we also need to make like three or four more medkits each. Okay, I have I have a couple. I will use one. What are we talking about? Where? Oh! Wow! Dang, that's scary. That's not alright. Alright, hang on a sec. I'm gonna... There's a building over here that has, like, blue lights all over the top of it. That's right. not a safe house. I would see this face so, in my uh, nightmares. Ugh. I, I, no, I gotta, oh no, it's worse in the dark. So much worse in the dark. Oh, no. that, that, that door doesn't work. Um, hmm. Okay, I feel pretty good. Come over here, and let's get this started. I think it's our first night run. Oh boy. Let me come over and get this done as soon as possible. Okay, and is in for the tower. Looks like it's all here. Blood for the blood god? Don't think that reference applies. And is in for the tower! Oh, don't call the boss. Don't trust that lady. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing Anderson, destroy it. What? What? what why? It will what? Force Hold the phone. Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Um, no, I'm pretty sure this this is straight up wrong, no matter how you slice it. No, 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 don't do- oh god. Why would you not do that? This is the moment where I think Crane is officially the bad guy now. Why on earth would you just like say, oh no, they- I destroyed it, but uh... There's no antis in here. Another runner group got some antis in. Oh good, the nightmares are awake. They must have heard me. Maybe if they- Learn to burn children's medicine. Oh, whoa. I actually think I'm just one of them. Oh, hey. Okay. No. Nope. Uh, no. This way. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We go to the water. 
We lose them in the shallows. No, they're on me. I hear them. Into the shadow. Into the shallows. Pursuit evaded. <laughs> Light off. Light off. Oh, pursuit back on. Get back low. Pursuit evaded. Oh, I'm that's not water fun. Algae down here. Okay. Back oh, to the surface. No, it's starting to see me. Okay. Oh gosh, it's standing on my face. Ouch! Die. It's underwater. Yes. I hope it drowns. It was running along the bottom. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, it drowned. Okay. I'm gonna loot it. Where is it? Do we right get points here. for that? No, I don't think so. I think we should get points for that. I think the ocean got points for that. Alright, coming up to the surface. Okay. Going into sneak mode. After we get over to this no, other shore. Sneak. Remember to use that survivor sense. I think it does still ping them. Oh, yep, there's, there's one. one. I don't think they show up on the mini-map in Nightmare. Uh, I would agree. Okay. He's right there. Ooh. I don't like this. Ooh. Remember to watch out for reggae zombies, too. That is regular zombies, not reggae zombies. <laughs> the most relaxed zo Oh, like that one? Yes. Dude, crouch, man. I am crouched. Okay, you didn't look it to me. I retreated into the water. I'm a crocodile now. Out of okay, I'm headed uphill. Oh, keep an eye out for those things. Pulse here, survivor sense pretty regularly. Oh, uh, 200. Oh, there's one. Oh, shoot. Do I? Yeah. All right, I'm equipping my uh, UV flashlight. Yeah, I, I, equi I equipped mine immediately. Oh, what is he doing? I forgot. Where? Okay, he's eating He's eating something. Where? Use the, use the north compass. Oh, God, there's one ahead of us. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just... Do you, do you want to put your light out? I'm not sure that helps me. Chill. As long as he doesn't turn toward us, I think we're good. And he turned toward us. Yeah, we're fine. Yep, keep pushing. Keep oh, pushing. there's two to the right. Oh, I don't like this. No, it's it's not my favorite. Back to sneak. Okay, volatile. Other side of the building, directly ahead. Two of them. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we go this way. I'm going left. Yeah. I think that's about right. Oh, they're coming! Oh, turn your light off! Turn your light off! Run! Just run! Oh god, that's not, that's not jump. Oh god, there's no one ahead of us. I don't know what you're talking Regular about. Regular zombies. Okay, I, I gotta... I think I got pretty far away. Oh man, why is there one between us and the tower? No, there's one right in front of you. Yep, I one know. in front of me. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. I thought that was. Oh. I thought that there's was one right here. Volatile coming right over. When you climbed up in front of me. There's no way. Oh, there. there's one right there. Come back down here. Yeah, there's a pass. Okay. And there's one on top of that building right there. Turn your light off. Yep. Oh, don't make noise. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's f there's so many. Uh, I see four. I don't like this. Okay, I th I say left because they all seem to be off to our right mostly, except there's a new one. All right, follow me closely. Oh wait, no, you're ahead of me. Uh, I'm ahead of you. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. Don't, don't and go that way. Zombs. Reggies. Do what you got to do. Okay, oh, he's, he's, he's like climbing. a building ahead. So. And there's one over there. Where? 
Uh, yeah, if we're quick and get around here, we might be able uh, to- Oh, I don't like this. It's fine. I'm just gonna push through. Okay. Turning off my light. Okay, he's headed the other way. Alright, we climb up on this awning, and then I think we're basically at the tower. Oh, there's two of them right there. Oh. Oh. Where's the tower entrance? Oh. This way. Yep. Screw it, I'm running for it. Yep, just run. Oh At this god, point, there's go. one right there. Go, go, oh! Run! Go away, run, go run. away! Oh. 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 oh, go away! Burn! Oh. Burn! <laughs> oh, nope. brother. Uh, I vote we never do that again. Um, <laughs> never ever going out at night. Ever. <laughs> Night gameplay ability and power points are doubled at night, so maybe we will go out again. No. Mm. I, I like my eight hours sleep, and you know my life. The longer you play outside of safe zones, the more survival rank you get. Don't care. Did I level up at all? Uh, no. But that'll get us to bow and arrows faster because I think I got downgraded. I think I was survival level five recently. That was a horrifying noise. Uh, I'm level six and a half. Okay. All right. Back at the tower. Whew. Quartermaster, you have nothing. That's okay. I need a nap anyway and perhaps a change of shorts. <laughs> Bring me my brown pants. <laughs> Gosh, right? Uh, headquarters, let's report in. We... Didn't get any antis in. Seriously, can we just talk for a second about how Crane is so stupid? I just... I, I mean, even... Let's go with your strategy if he still wants to work for these guys who are obviously jerks. How about just a... Oh, I'm sorry, it broke up. Or a... a yeah, I definitely burned that antis in. You, you definitely don't need to come down here and check. Yeah, I I, we, I burnt the antis in, but another runner team brought some new stuff in. Come on. Yeah. I mean, we need antis in. I know, but buying from Rise... Oh, be serious. For God's sake, I already don't like this meeting already. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. We didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Is that how it works? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? Fallout rules. We did like two missions. We run the place. I get a snazzy hat too, right? Go away, Raheem. You sure you're up for this? It has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Raise this place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Yeah, we're brothers now. I did like one suicide mission for you. Butterflies? Did you just Bots. Okay. You know, I was gonna say, they always flutter around the light. I think I took a bad concussion from that rice guy hit me if I was seeing butterflies in here. Well, here's the weird part. I actually, look at them and they keep generating from nowhere. So these are like alien teleporting ones. Ah, uh, no, stop looking. Bad graphics. Bad gameplay mechanics. I got a survivor upgrade. Back to level 5. Again. Oh, good. I am not quite level 6. Or not uh, quite level seven. Crafting next. I need three twenty-three twenty-two fifty to get to level seven. I want crafting expertise, but I also want elemental throwing stars because I feel like burning throwing stars are gonna be really useful for putting damage on things until we get the bow. I think I think I'm going with crafting expertise. Well, I'll yeah, think. let's go ahead and talk to all the guys up here. Timur? Congrats, you survived the night. Too bad that run didn't work out. Yeah, too bad. How am I not being eaten alive by guilt? I know, just especially when all the children run up. Hi, Mr. Crane, now, thanks for trying. A lot of things in that pawn shop of his. Yeah, probably a bit of everything, really. And there's a very, very angry child behind him. Like, seriously, this child is the next serial murderer. I'm not crazy, right? Hey, you! Over here! Alright, I Dalu. say we don't talk to this guy. To I don't want to talk to him. 
I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <sighs> Safest place in the slums, maybe, but the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place, and you're looking at him. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as everything you find there. Considering the number of lock containers, we, and I say we generously, I realize that you are a resident lock picker, that we've gotten into, it seems very unlikely that even if you're the only person with a key, that it hasn't been pried open by now. Well, I'm going to say this, uh, even if I couldn't get the lock open, there's the uh, world-renowned lock called a crowbar. Exactly, it's kind of my point. Desperate and resourceful people find a way. Devil himself, rise. So he wants a gun, right? Yes. The one who stole the GRE he didn't ask for any bullets. Well, this is the perfect opportunity. Ooh, loophole. Ask me. Electricity, building maintenance. I'll keep this place running somehow. Glad you're here. I was just about to call you. What's Look, if it's a bathroom on floor well, 13, I don't know good anything. News, bad news. Ew. The good news is that you restore the lights in the Cauldron District. The bad news is that it blew out the grid near the overpass. It's blacker than your pants pocket over there. So, do you need it switched back on? There are two substations. Flick, flick, you switch them on. The order doesn't matter. Then you throw the master in the main station, and it'll light up like a Christmas tree. I think I can do it. Of course you can do it. Any runner could do it. But there's a catch. Of Shutting course there the is. has created a little black patch for the volatiles. Bunches of them are gathering there after sundown. So I've rigged a trap. It's already in place, all set to go. Now, if you can get in there and restore the power after it's dark, we can fry a whole lot of freaks in one shot. After Sorry, dark, I can't do it. That's, that's going to be a lot dicier. Sure. That's why no one's volunteered for this job. But I'm thinking maybe you're a bit tougher than the rest of these guys. Just an impression. Let's just say I'm here to help. Really? Good intentions, huh? Hope you've got some guts, or you won't last long. I like his accent. I don't know why. It's like working so class, but at the same time... Just... I like it. Yeah, but the things he says with that accent, I don't like at all. You mean, go out at night? Yeah, I don't like it. I, that, this is a mission I'm not going to do. I'll do it. We'll we'll get to that. I'm going to bed. Can you hear me? Jade? Yeah, I copy. Oh, Something hold on. Uh. No, no, it's um... Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Because that's the only redeemable thing I'm that uh, because I did. Don't get uh -huh. from rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but he was the best, most decent man I've ever known. Who would never, ever burn somebody else's medication. I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. Uh-huh. Look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the antizen, okay? Okay. Just, just come back in one piece, all right? I feel like there was... I'm going to bed. I feel like... It's in, always when you're about to get in bed and some yeah, chick calls you on the phone. Okay. You. I feel like in Crane's head, that conversation went entirely differently and it was laden with guilt, you know? I know you're doing this to redeem yourself because Amir died saving your life. Because you've done nothing else that you possibly should feel guilt or need redemption over. Because you're completely innocent. Amir is the most good and decent man I've ever known. He would never burn... I don't know, for example, other people's medication for really criminal shady reasons. And, by the way, you are also taking a risk with no ulterior motives of your own whatsoever. Airdrop, Ooh. we're gonna Ooh. go get it. Right there, right there. You see it? Yeah, if I remember right, these airdrops are actually timed events in the sense that wait too long and Rise's guys will be all over it. Wait even longer 
And uh, oh, oh. it'll be empty. Darn it. What? Rises, boys. Okay, uh... You can hold one still. He, he blocked my throwing star. Oh, one's running. Let him go. Let him go. Alright, let's go for the airdrop. Oh, good. They're already here. Oh, boy. Throwing stars! Yes, set them on fire. It'll make a difference. Okay, I hit one oh, with good. conducting There's... liquid, so this one's super vulnerable to electricity. Okay, he's dead. Wow, that liquid. The conducting or flammable liquid really does make a difference. Oh, he's still up. I hit him. I'm out of throwing stars. Okay, he's done. They can apparently block throwing stars. Yeah, I've seen them block throwing weapons. Oh, I heard a voice. I'm opening. Yes. Get the stuff. I bet it's the guy who ran away. Medical supplies, sweet. Hammer. I bet it's that guy who ran away from us. Searching. Maybe. Objective quests. Oh, okay. Oh. So this is the. These are the. These are the guys who are selling the phony antizen. Let's climb okay. into the compound real quick. Well, there's a guy right here. Yeah, but don't don't attack him for no reason. Not until you stay up there. Well, it, you stay it there. They made me put my, wep my, my weapon away. And I'll talk to this guy. I'm not done with you. Okay. What can I do for you, my friend? Here we are. Yeah, here you're. All right, I'm above you. Oh, that was weird. Who told you that? A little bird? Not just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. Subtle crane. Garbage. My formula is fifty times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy. Gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. What? I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. <laughs> this guy's a rocker. Mentor. Yeah, Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead. Okay, I'm climbing up top. I'm running circles. Ow! Maybe they'll die. Maybe they'll die of like heart attack or something. Use your powers? Really? Um. Okay. Hi! <laughs> oh, you can vault off these guys too. Okay, good. Oh, you can redirect them. That's so useful. I'm not done with you. They can also throw throwing knives at you, just FYI. Yes, I, I knew that. Oh, I think he just oh, I just got knocked down. Stop it! I know. I'm oh. down. Okay, force kill. Humans, oh, are, the, humans lost, are the real monster. I lost 1,500 survival points. Okay, guys. I lost 2,000. In the comments, if you play this game and you've played a nightmare mode, give us tips for early game trying to take on humans. Where'd we get I'm making okay, some Molotovs. Not... Yeah, I think, I think that might be the way to go. I also noticed there are a few explosive barrels around there, so... I, I got some throwing stars. Are throwing stars an actual ingredient in the burning throwing stars? Uh, no. You no? need blade, aerosol, and gauze, I believe. Okay. Oh, I apparently have plenty of stuff for Molotovs. Okay, so they're already they're hostile from the get-go this time. We don't have to repeat the cutscene. You just made a big mistake. Okay. Burn. Nice. I don't want to go in there because I don't want to burn. Let's hold up. Take this slow. Okay. I think he's gone. Yes! One. Oh! Ow. Nice! Okay, stop throwing the Molotovs. I went down. I want to try out this. These Molotovs are almost excessive. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is great. Here, hold up. Okay. Boom. Yep. Oh shoot! I didn't think about. Oh, I may have summoned a bunch of virals just then. It didn't uh, kill him. Can they get in? Can they get in? Probably. I don't think they can get in. Let's hold back here. Hold, hold up back here. So maybe the viral will take care of him. 
Be patient. Or just hit him in the face. I feel like if you took a face shot from a from a cricket bat with that many nails in it, you would not be as okay as that guy seems to be. Yeah, this this is appallingly useless. Okay. Come here. Get back! Oh! Oh! I'm so sorry! I'm fine. I, I was threw him into the, the oil Lena, pool and then I threw a Molotov at it. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Alright. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. I don't want premium throwing stars. I'm fine, they seem but you just tipped them off that I was coming. I was oh, my inventory's full. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now if he okay, comes I'm back, trying. I'm gonna have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. So we unlocked a new safe zone and we cleared up fake medicine ring. That's that's good, I'll take that. Let's Wait. continue doing plane. De plane! De plane! Oh plane! Yeah, it's gonna drop a There it is. Alright, it's gonna come down over there. Let's Go. try to hit it that way. Okay, we started that package, and now we're golden. Okay, guys, it's been about an hour, so I think we're going to wrap up. we got a few things under our belt, including our first night experience tonight, and that was so cool and scary, and we're going to do it again sometime soon. we got to turn on those lights at night, and it's going to be really hard. All right, then. Be well, guys. I'm K-Man. This has been Sos. He'll be with me next week. Come back for another episode of Dying Light Nightmare Mode. This has been Phalanx. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, a share. Give us a comment if you saw something we could be doing better. And please, tips on our combat on Nightmare Mode. It is so damaging and so risky. Sos, last words? Mm, I'm good. Cheers, y'all. Hope you have a good day, week, whenever you're watching this. Yes. Be well.